All right, I'm just showing with you guys what I got here. <clears throat> the uh, scope's just hooked up. The lead's just hooked up directly to the scope. I got um, <clears throat> one kilohertz. That's what it looks like right on there. I'm at uh, 250 uh, microseconds. It's five volts peak to peak. So right there, one kilohertz. I'm going to go to the board and uh, hook up the leads right to the gate. So this is on the VFT, which is uh, the Dan Combine one. I just didn't use a 15-volt regulator. I used a 12-volt because uh, I was coming right from one single battery. So there's what it looks like to the gates. So I'm going to turn it on. Here's our uh, transformer. You can hear it. You can see the amperage reading good enough. I'll show you, we'll adjust the um, <clears throat> pulse width on here. frequency up and down. Watch the amp reading. As the pulse width goes up, down, up, down. So at about 50%, you know, we're pretty low, a few hundred milliamps. Um, <clears throat> so Right now, that coil, the secondary, I have it hooked up to a bridge here. I was testing some other stuff. So I'm going to take that off. And you can watch this. So on the secondary of this transformer, or I'm sorry, on the primary of the transformer, I was using it to sense some other stuff. Let me um, go from the gates now. Now this is on the second area of that transformer. So if I put a resistor across the load, so the transformer is across A and B, if I put a resistor across there, just to dampen it down, because I don't have any snubbers on this. So you can see I can dampen that ringing a little bit. I don't know if I should have a snubber on here or not, but let me You can see the oscillations on there. Now let me put the resistor on and then I'll freeze it. As you can see, it's a lot less. Um, move on. So there's the basic circuit of everything. What I was trying to do. So I have the H bridge driving this transformer. I was going to try to sense off the primary side of the transformer. That's actually not going to work. I tried it because there's too much... Um, back your back EMF counter EMF the inductive spike coming back shows up on the bridge and it causes a false trigger so unless I add a snubber circuit to the H bridge or 
a resistor across the transformer to dampen that ringing, ringing way down, some way to get rid of it. Um, I get false triggers trying to run that to a bridge and trigger off of that. Which, for the coil sorting, I was using this circuit. So basically the one that's in the files, except, you know, obviously I add another 12-volt uh, regulator, driver, and um, bidirectional MOSFETs to short the coil. The only thing I'm going to have to modify is this right here. I can't go off the primary of the transformer into a bridge and trigger this way. I could probably use this, but that's going to be an opto, I think. And then the other half of the opto will replace this, this, and the transformer. So I'll have to trigger off the H bridge somehow. So referring to what I was talking about, um, I was thinking about coming off of one of the SG30, 35, 25 legs. And instead of going to ground with one of these resistors, just running it through an opto, both of them though, because although you can't just do one leg or you're only going to trigger one half. So both of them go into one opto or two optos, whatever, and then two transistors off of that single line. However, but I'm going to have to trigger two, two times this side, that side, to the coil shorting board, and then I'm also going to have to trigger to the filling and dumping board. So I don't know if I'm going to end up needing a, a couple of them or whatnot. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, <clears throat> but on the H bridge, I don't have anything across there, so there's no type of resistor, capacitor, anything for a snubber circuit. I'm not sure if I should use it or not on coil shorting. And then I don't have this on there. Um, my thought was that it would dampen the ringing and I would want the most as possible, but I don't know. So basically the filling and dumping is going to be the same circuit without the oscillator one on the end, the 4093. So I'll just have a delay and window and um, everything works except for the triggering. I'm not sure how to try, tie all the triggering in together. So, I think this is what Sean's going on, got going on, which is pretty simple. H bridge into the transformer, that's done. So I have one battery feeding that, one battery feeding the coil sorting board, the same battery going to a DC to DC converter to the fill and dumping board because the MOSFET's going to be floating. You don't have a common ground or zero volts. Or I don't even know the proper terminology, but in any case, it comes from the bridge into there, so the MOSFET, and channel MOSFET will be on the high side. So I got some of those um, opto isolated drivers coming and a DC to DC converter. So I couldn't start on this portion yet. So I was just trying to figure out how to short uh, trigger them without the MOSFETs in the board right now. But um, I think that's what he's got going on, both on the high side, but end channel MOSFETs. And so, um, I'm not sure if we need a DC to DC converter on this one. I don't think so. And of course, can you move like one time? One time. Move. Come on, man. Let me turn this off because this is annoying. So, I think that's where I'm at. If anyone's got any ideas how I can tie this into these two, just for the triggering portion, I pretty much get how to run everything. Um, the coil sorting works great. I tested a bunch of boards. We can see them. I got a ton of stuff I was testing. So I think I'm almost there. Um, I don't think I forgot anything, but let me give you uh, a scope shot of the second area of the transformer, actually.
and pause it. So you can see the. You know, one pulse, you get, that's one pulse. That's all like the back EMF or inductive spike coming back. And this is what I pick up in the bridge. So this is our actual power. And this one's the other one. But this is all unwanted. This is that unwanted portion I was talking about. So this triggers that bridge for the coil shorting. And then when this one comes through the bridge, it triggers it also. So I got to find, so I got to trigger off the the actual oscillator circuit rather than what's going to that transformer.